right, guys, we are back, and I am here with Dave, and we have a special guest with us today, Ryan Levine's teammate. Go ahead and tell us your name, who you are. So I'm Calvin Tahan. I'm the ARG Ultra Reality Games team captain, and I'm here to commentate this match. Uh, so Kamal Crooks is representing PPG. Uh, he and Ryan are both playing pretty much the same build of Thunder D Dragon Danger. Uh, Kamal's a very good player. He has uh, numerous tops, a win. Uh, Ryan has three wins, numerous tops. This should be a really good match. Awesome, awesome. Well, I'm glad to uh, have you on board with us here uh, to commentate this match. And by all means, you know, don't be afraid. Take over. Let him go. You got your teammate Ryan Levine on here. He's actually been on stream twice yesterday. Uh, and this will um, be his third time. And so. which is good. And he's had really good showings uh, with his deck. Uh, we, he was one of the first ones we saw with the Danger mm -hmm. Thunder Dragon. You know, using Levy and Air, using uh, Fairy Tail Snow, this newer build, and it's uh, very interesting to see on there. So Ryan, yeah, is, is one of the first three people to to innovate Fairy Tail Snow last week in, in uh, Sydney, Australia. Um, that deck debuted. Um, and our, our teammate Bowden uh, talked and did well with it. Um, Ryan uh, fell short of top cut and didn't top, but he's one of the three along with Jesse uh, who made the deck. So I think Kamal is probably playing a similar build. It looks like Ryan won the role, which I think will be pretty advantageous for him uh, if he is able to play. So let's see what he does here. I'm assuming this mirror match is a bit dice rolly. Kind of. Yeah. Um, it's, it's, it's not total. This deck's really good at going second and pushing through boards because, like a six-card hand, you can do a lot to, to break through boards. Extra danger. Um, but the advantage of, of going first is that you get to set up snow in your graveyard, and that's such a, like, such an insane swing. Um, so if Ryan can get a snow in grave, which it looks like he, he's probably going to be able to do, yeah, um, it might be over. Okay, so now we have uh, Mo uh, Mothman on board with Ripladokus. I still can't say that card's name. Ah, I, I, I never do. Think. I just call it dinosaur. It's called dinosaur. Yeah, I'm okay with that it one. It makes summon sorcerers. Yeah, Summon Sorcerer is being uh, really popular uh, this weekend uh, so in, in, in everyone's deck. And well, Curious, curious for, what's for your snow. input on that? Um, Summon Sorcerers? Yeah, Summon Sorcerers and also Curious. Curious uh, is just everywhere now. Yeah, Curious uh, is, is seeing an insane amount of play. Um, I, I think everyone's pretty much just sending snow with it. Uh, it, it. It's a really easy card to make with the Dangers, and the Thunder Dragon engine is really good because they're basically all darks. So you just get a dark monster on the, free for, on the field for free, and you get a uh, Danger on the field for free, and that's basically just an easy way to make Curious. Okay. Yeah, um, Wesa brings out a, a good point. Mm -hmm. It just doesn't seem like no one really plays Hand Trap in this deck. Like, are they siding it? Like, what's going on? We don't have access to deck list. Is it something they just put on the side? Yeah, um, so the reason that these decks don't play Hand Traps is because of the dangers. Um, so you have to, like, shovel your hand and discard a random card. Yeah. Um, so having a Hand Trap in your hand is just, like, you're just kind of nagging um, on the discard. Yeah, if they, if okay. they accidentally so, hit your ass, yeah. or you didn't get to use it. And this deck, can, it, like I said, is so good at playing through boards. So if Striker like ma or Ultra Guys makes a board, you really don't care. You can play through it. The only thing is a Rongo deck, but that's what you had the side board for, I suppose. Okay. Um, but yeah, this mirror match, I don't even think they're going to bother deciding in, in very many hand traps. They're just kind of going to let it play out. Yeah. Yeah, we, we have seen quite a few times on uh, on stream, even Ryan Levine yesterday, I believe he's he also is the one that went against the Ultra Guys player yesterday we had on stream, and they would just go right through the board. Like, they'll they'll Po like slowly, get, like either bait stuff out or just get rid of it. Yeah. You know, blow this up, get rid of this, and just go through it using uh, using the danger monsters. If you don't get stopped by an early floodgate, um, you kind of just steamroll them. Uh, chat wants to know if this deck can play through torrential. <laughs> uh, it can because Colossus can save itself from card effects. So uh, yeah, Thunder doesn't really lose to any traps right now except for floodgates. Torrential's not a floodgate. Uh, I, I think the the only trap that uh, that ended Karma up happening cut? was uh, a <laughs> <laughs> Karma cut would be nice here. <laughs> now my thing, you know, we've also seen a lot of Rongo, right? This yeah, weekend, well, so. I saw a lot of Rongo like, yesterday. Yeah, Rongo was like everywhere. <laughs> I was like, man, Rongo's pretty popular. So they're curious. Why, why do you think do people not expect to see that much Rongo? Because I'm not seeing anyone like use something like SC's Encore mm -hmm. to try to hit the Rongo. So here's here's with Rongo. Um, last weekend, Joe Bogley won um, the ARG with Rongo. Uh, before that, it was kind of a deck that everybody understood existed. Um, but didn't really respect because it's kind of bricky and it's super easy to stop like one hand trap just stops it um, So like no nobody in their right mind would play this deck because it like quote-unquote because it's, it's just not very good um, So as a good as a good player You can't really prepare to face that deck because like if you're if you're allotting uh, space in your side deck Like three on course for a matchup that you probably won't even play It's a losing strategy you need cards for like thunder you need cards for ultra guys and everything So we just kind of pretend that matchup doesn't exist and if you play one or two in Swiss it won't really matter because you're not going to play any in Top Cut because it's not a good deck. The problem is that so many people are playing it now because Joe won last weekend that it's kind of a real deck now. It's still as awful as it always was. It's <laughs> terrible. Joe just lost in Top 16 like he should have. Um, but the fact that it exists it makes the meta kind of toxic. Um, so that's my main issue with it is uh, it exists and it makes me sad. Um, okay. Anyway, um, Kamal is getting a turn, opening with Brilliant. It's a pretty good start. I think Ryan did get his snow in, so I don't really know if Kamal can do anything, but we're going to find out. 
We had a six Sam player yesterday make Rongo for seven. That was super funny. <laughs> yeah, that, that was probably the highlight of the, the yesterday. Highlight. Make make Rongo with seven material. I was like, okay. <laughs> I can see what you mean though, because I, I don't think I saw very many in the top cut. Yeah, there. I I played four yesterday in Swiss, which is I guess Ew. why I didn't top. Um, <laughs> yeah, because I lost. You know, I went second to all of them and got Rongo. But uh, in a perfect world, there would be none to play against. Okay, Kamal got snow early. Huh. Goes in and plays, plays the lure of darkness. Mm -hmm. Yep. Vanishes Dragon Roar. Which has probably been like the most thing that gets banished this week. It's either Dragon Dark or Dragon Roar. We're almost all the time, like, yeah, Dragon Roar. I Every mean, time Allure, they play a lure. is like almost built for this deck. It's like really solid. Do you think ARG top caused an increase in the Rongo players? Yeah, I definitely think a, a premier event would cause a shift in the meta. Uh, whoever wins this this premier event today um, is going to influence the meta next week. Last week's premier event, people um, that decked it. Cindy was the YCS before that. Um, all three premier events helped shape the meta. So it's you know event, an events event. If, if it's streamed and, and if it's covered and people will actually go to it. Right now we have Ryan Levine and Kamal Crooks on stream. I think in 2017 those were the two best players to play the game. Um, so it's two years later, but and they're still still both very good. But that just says enough. Um, yeah, so. absolutely. Yeah, you know, we, this, this event definitely matters. Last weekend definitely mattered. Yeah, you know, we have this event uh, here with, with the PPG in uh, Atlantic City, and we have a lot of high-end caliber players here playing today. And you're seeing their decks and seeing what they're doing, what they're bringing this week. So this is definitely something that's going to influence everyone and give someone an idea how we're changing, how we're moving forward. Um, especially, you know, with Savage Strike right around the corner. I know it, it doesn't really add, mm. like, a whole lot to it, but it's, you're, still getting, you're still getting something out of it, and it's right around the corner. How do you think that, that that will influence what we're seeing now? Like, what would Savage Strike bring to this? Depends on the dangers of war, right? Yeah, yeah we, we don't we know. We haven't seen anything. Um, that really seen, I think there's 20 cards to be revealed yet. Um, we just don't know what they are. As it stands, like, the, the cards we do know that, like, you know, Japan has, the core cards of the set suck. <laughs> like, that, <laughs> yeah. that set's awful. But there are 20 cards. We don't know. There could be some crazy danger monsters. There could I, be... I think the danger cards are yeah. the one thing everyone's kind of waiting for. That, that yeah. Can, like, actually I, think, I think the set will definitely match. I think some of those cards will end up being good. Of, of the cards that are currently released, least, I think, like, two of them are playable. Yeah. Good, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, we'll see. Even even if it's just a danger, like, with just no effect, if it's just another danger you can summon, yeah. it'd be pretty cool. Come on, uh, has summoned Thoughtscaper here. Uh, that's a fun card. I saw a couple of people playing. We've seen two people play. Yeah, yesterday. Ryan is also playing Dotscaper. I'm not sure why anyone's playing. I think that's. It. I think that's why. Yeah, I guess he can just make Saruja. Here we go. Yeah, make Saruja. Yeah, oh, <laughs> come on, I'm gonna open up pretty good here. Yeah, come brilliant. On. This is a crazy opening. He's definitely playing through everything Ryan did. Well, the brilliant fusion was definitely an advantageous open. Yeah, every time we've seen someone open up brilliant fusion, it's like, well, it makes plays. <laughs> it kind of just pops off, and you just sit there, it's like, let let him finish. <laughs> It actually, it's, it's been fun to watch people play these decks because since they're not playing too many hand traps, we're seeing all kinds of combos start from beginning to end. Like we're watching everything go through, and it's like, okay, we're seeing a lot of action on there for, because of that. Yeah, I think like the, one of the worst games you watched was uh, Nim Nim's game against the True Draco player that flips two rivalry and it goes in on him. Like that was super exciting. <laughs> that was a little bit of a quiet game. It was a quiet game. This game kind of seems like the opposite of that. There's a lot going on here. Yeah, a lot. I think Kamal definitely opened a lot stronger than Ryan did. Yeah. Um, but it's it's refreshing. At least, you know, Ryan didn't break. He got to play. He summoned Curious. He summoned Snow. He went Colossus. So it, it, this should be an entertaining match to watch. If both players get to play their decks and see what happens here. Makes a Col uh, Colossus now. You know, while while Kamal's playing this turn, how do you feel that the, we didn't we didn't really see like we had a good turnout for Sky Striker, but it was just not as big as normal. Is it because of the the meta shift or the popularity mm -hmm. of playing something different that we know works? Yeah, I think I think Striker is just kind of like a boring deck inherently. Um, I think it, it, it's still like very. I wouldn't even say it's the best deck, but it's, it's definitely a tier one deck. Um, mm -hmm. But people are just kind of like done playing it. Like if you've been playing Striker for a long time, you kind of want something else. And especially with like what what's hot right now is like this new Danger Thunder deck. It being a Thunder deck inherently just kind of like gives Striker a bad time. So if everyone's playing this new deck because it's cool and fun, even if it's not the best deck, well, yeah, this deck's pretty cool. But it's at the end of the day, it's just a pile of cards. Like they're just playing sixty card decks. <laughs> like you could just break and lose. So it's it's not the best deck, but it, it's cool and fun. Um, and so this exists. It makes it a lot harder for Striker to play. Um, but yeah, I mean, Striker's still top. I think two or three of them still topped. And yeah, one might absolutely. win the event, so. 
Yeah, um, it just we were so used to those, yeah. them eating most of top, and we saw it. I was like, well, it's not that many. And this was definitely mm-hmm. the most represented deck uh, here yesterday. So Kamal Crooks now having a Saruja and double Colossus on board, along with his Dot Scraper still sitting over there to the right. He, need, he needs to find a way to make a Titan to pop the face down Colossus, because um, if it's face down, it can't save itself with its effect. So I think that's what he's trying to build up to now. Um, either that or like a uni- Unicorn or something. It's easy way to clear it. Um, but at the end of the day, Ryan's still going to have a Snow. Um, it's not going to be game here. Anything Kamal does will just... Uh, so I don't, I don't know. This this, push has, this mirror seems so complicated sometimes, and I'm, I'm not really sure what the game plan is here for Kamal. I think he just makes a big field and hope that Ryan can deal with it, and it looks like it's going to be pretty hard to deal with. Yeah, uh, Gweza says it's because it's been nine months of Sky Striker. Yes, we were just kind of tired of the deck. Yeah, we were talking about that earlier. It's like, I think it just might be bored of it. It happens a lot in Yu-Gi-Oh. How do you feel? Does, uh, how do you feel about us in like two and a half weeks getting Salaman Great? I don't know what that is. Is that a card or a set or uh, Salaman Great is an archetype that we're getting from the structure deck. Oh, uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Um, is that is the it, Pendulum or no, the, the Spellcaster one? No, they're not Spellcaster. They're, 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 they're all they're all fire uh, creatures, and it, it just it's, it pretty much is a link spam deck. Mm, okay, I haven't read them. Um, yeah, they, 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 they like they can they can lower the attack of your opponent's monster, and it, it can swing for like nine nine k. Oh, that's broken. It's, yeah, it's pretty ri- pretty ridiculous. That's fun. Yeah, it comes out like in two. It's the it's the structure deck that's gonna have common ash in it. Oh, that's the one. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that well that'll be big. I mean, yeah. people are gonna be buying that deck regardless. Yeah, no just, matter what, it's like a common, common ash. ash. Got it. <laughs> Yeah, so this is tough. I don't think Ryan plays Borlod or Boro Sword. I think they were like our 17th and 18th cards. Like this side deck for this deck is so yeah. tight. Like we only play like two or one Colossus and like no Cerberus. There's no room for anything. Um, yeah. What Ryan might be able to do is is make like a Brio. Uh, if, if he has access to Destrudo, he can make Yazzie Brio. I think that's the only chance he has of breaking this board. Yeah. Yeah, uh, that deck that's coming out is the reason why uh, Lady D bugs like seven bucks. Okay. Because of Cyber's deck. Oh, okay. I've been seeing that card. Yeah, uses out. Lady Debug and stuff. That's, mm-hmm. that's, that's the reason why. Okay. Did he, he just activate uh, Mothman? Yeah. Oh, he just tried <laughs> Jackal. Yeah, I don't, I don't really read new cards until they come out. <laughs> it made me laugh. He just started Jackal over now. He, he gets that's a... That's pretty, that pretty nice. Yeah, yeah hitting the jackal up here is like he gets another special. Summon. Ryan's tilted here. Yeah, this this one looks like it's over. It is only game one though. What's where's the timer? Twenty seven minutes. Okay. Okay. So they, they we're on pace. We're, yeah, I mean these games are just well, this is turn one. Is so. Well, no. So uh, yeah. uh, we noticed that game one always takes a while, and then game two is just super fast. But yeah, yeah, that's because you draw your side your sides, and, yeah. and they're just the match is just Im- impacted by those cards, and it's yeah. very instantaneous. So did I get gamut? I lost. Oh, so Kamal plays Boral. Okay, so we don't play. That's gonna make this match pretty hard for Ryan because Kamal just plays a card that Ryan doesn't, Oof. and it's so a it's, very, very good card. So the Daniel Nura does not normally play Boral or Dragon. There's no space for it at all. So what will he cut for it? I don't know what Kamal's not playing. He might not be playing uh, Brio, like he might be playing Yazi and then only making, um, like not tuning with it after. Or is he even playing Destrudo? I haven't seen a Destrudo. I don't yet. think. Yeah, I don't think uh, he's maybe playing he's playing Destrudo. like no Destrudo in his build. Okay. Yeah, Ryan does have that distributor, like I said. So that was Ryan's plan to make Brio and clear the board. But Borla is going to make that hard. Borla's a problem. Yeah. I think this actually just might be a game. Or close to it. It seems like the best time to out Because Kamal still has a snow. Yeah. So snow, minimum can snow can attack over snow. Ryan gets to book a Colossus. This doesn't look great. One of two. <laughs> yeah. It seems like the best way to out Borla is to make your own. Yeah, yeah. it is. Yeah, so we don't have that. Um, obviously, there are other ways. Like uh, Titan outs it pretty nicely. Okay. Steel, swing. Taking a lot of life sweeps. Looks like he's taking the two Colossus. He's taking both. 26, 26. And he probably intends to be curious, too. I think he's going to take it all. Yeah. yeah. 26, well, that's a f- uh, 52. If it's not lethal, uh, Ryan's just going to take it all. 52, and how much is curious? 20... I'm, I'm not an expert. It's like 21, 23. I just like, it's like 21, 23. Up. That's the only bad thing about not being able to see the card. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, ah. I don't want to put the, like, the wrong thing. I believe it's 21. I'm pulling it up right now. Okay, cool. I've actually found it very difficult to remember all these. Curious is 24. 24. Like, we're both we're all wrong. It's okay. Uh, and those monsters are pumped up because of Saryuja. They were summoned under the zone, so they're 29s each. So 600 more. If that's the case, it'd oh, be, then it would be game. Yeah. Then, then it would be game. 
so, so your Perugia was not, was gone though. That was a permanent boost, isn't it? Yeah, it's a mandatory permanent boost. Um, Did they just forget? I think they forgot. I don't think there should be judges there. I don't think. Yeah, there's a judge there. Commentators were allowed. To, are we allowed to intervene? It's still the same turn, so I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'll, st I'll step in. It's the same turn. Yeah, let, let them know. We're going to let them know, guys, that I believe that's game because of the Saruja's effect. Like, this definitely affects the game. That, 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 that needs to stop. That's like the game is over at that point, really. Dragon Ball Super Players for the team event. We got Calvin over to figure it out. Form a team, then please go over to the PPG the, the last last thing that we had we didn't affect the friends. the game, Remember, so you know, it, it left it. Okay. So he's gonna take he's gonna take one Colossus. That uh, so that'll put him minus three hundred three hundred stronger. So he's gonna go one hundred life, and then the other one. Or no, not one hundred. He's gonna so yeah so, minus three hundred first. It's not about sure so let's let's reset that. this. He was at eight thousand minus three hundred. Well, don't do that. If he's at eight thousand, don't do that. So just twenty four. And individual cards. Uh, the official and then he's taking twenty nine from one Colossus. Yeah, so he's gonna chump block it. Yes, no. and then he has to block the other one. Yeah. Okay. We put all the rules on our event page as well. If you want to stay in your seat, just pull. Yeah, we had a similar situation. Uh, not not the same situation, but with uh, the Shaz game, but it didn't affect the game. So yeah. It wasn't gonna change any, so just let it go, let it yeah, go, let yeah, it go. Yeah. But that would have been. Yeah, yeah, this, game, so. yeah, this is different. Yeah, this is game. I had to stop it. You do not need a sideboard. That is the benefit to this. You just have to have three unique main decks. And please make sure that you specify player A, B, and C. As you check in, you will be assigned player A, B, and C based on the way that you put your name on the sign up sheet. So if you want a specific order, Please so he uses snow here to just kind of protect himself. Yeah, no choice. And he has to, um, yeah, he has to vote the one that's attacking because Kamal still has the option to use the snow here to attack over the snow, which he might do. Yeah, uh, guys. Um, yeah, comment stop the uh, the, the, the S lot. I'm sorry. Give us a second. For Dragon Ball Super Teams, if you're missing one more for Dragon Ball Super Teams, two more for Dragon Ball Super Teams, then we have some individuals there. If you need one or two, we can fill in that last player. Remember, if it's a I'm so sorry, guys. I'm trying to tell you guys something, but yeah, that's going on. So I'm just waiting for it to be over. <laughs> Just because you need to make sure that your decks line up. Okay. Okay, so last game in the shot, and I can remember the exact situation. It was something that we caught a little later as soon as it happened, but it so didn't he affect... He summoned something in defense mode. Yeah, he summoned something in defense mode instead of attack mode, uh, off manifestation. Uh -huh. But it didn't affect anything. He just went ahead and linked it off. Like, it didn't change, like, the outcome of the game. It wasn't going to happen. So, you know, once we caught it... Hmm. It, it just just let it go. This is something that literally changed the game, yeah. you know. And so Calvin got up to go ahead and, and make and let him know, hey, that that's that, that's gonna change the game. You can't continue at that point. So you know he went ahead and, and made that call. Dragon Ball Super players, Atlantic City quarterfinalists for Dragon Ball Super. You have 60 minutes. Who will be crowned your Dragon Ball Super champion? You may begin. Yeah, guys, we're, 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 I can't have that happen in the chat, uh, speaking of that kind of stuff. So if you do anything like that, unfortunately, that will get you banned. All right, so Ryan's going ahead and making the Destrudo push, like I said. Uh, so his life points are half now because he summoned Destrudo. Uh, so 30, 30, 1350 are what Ryan's life is. Um, Kamal summoning Snow here, booking the Destrudo, which is once per turn. That looks like it was Ryan's only way to possibly try to win this, kind of hoping that Kamal wouldn't snow. Oh, is Ryan down to 13 half? 50, yeah. yeah. But he's probably going to concede here. I think that'll be his next action. Mm. Yeah, I hate to interrupt the game with this, guys, but Ooh. any talk of, like, racism or anything like that, unfortunately, will get you banned from the chat. So I want you guys to have fun in the chat and say almost whatever you want, but please keep, stay away from that kind of stuff, okay? This is tough. Ryan's hand is, like, Dotscaper Mare Mare. 
and like two other cards that shouldn't even be in this pile. <laughs> Mare Mare is another card that we've seen a lot. Like, yeah, we like, I, every like, day Mare, playing Mare Mare. Yeah, it's like Mare Mare. When I first saw it, I was like, Mare Mare. I was like, it's okay. Like and then it. I saw it again, and I'm like, okay, is Mare Mare in everyone's deck today? What's going on? It makes tokens. It's fun. We, so right now the ruling is we wonder if Distrito goes to the bottom of the deck or back to the graveyard. It was face down when it was tributed. If it's face down, it shouldn't have to go back to the deck, right? I have because no idea. It loses its. It loses its uh, well, Ryan. Ryan summon. doesn't know, so Ryan had to ask the judge. Oh, okay. I don't know either. I would like. I would literally accept any answer. Like both of them would make sense. To me. <laughs> I would accept any answer. <laughs> both of them seem right. I'm pretty sure if it's face down, it loses any any conditions that it, it acquired while face up. Uh, sometimes. I don't. It, it's a, it's a question as to whether or not the card forgets how it was summoned. Yeah. And I know there are some like older Shadal rulings where like you can still play Shadal Fusion on like certain extra deck monsters because you know they came from the extra deck, or maybe the opposite of that. I don't know. Um, or like it remembers that it was special summon, but not that it was from the extra deck. Or Stuff like that. If it was fusion um, summon, if yeah. Fusion. If you're fusion summoning with a face down fusion monster, I think you can do that because you confirm that it's a fusion monster after you play. After the you card. fuse, yeah. yeah. That, that's 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 different. And uh, yeah. anyway. Regardless, Ryan drawing Mermer here was nuts because that means he can make the Brio play that he wanted to make uh, because the Destruido was what was going to tutor the Mermer for him uh, by making Yazi and popping itself, and Kamal knew he had to stop that. Uh, so Ryan gets to make Brio here and bounce almost everything. Unfortunately, Ryan only has three cards in hand, so not everything. Um, and you can't bounce the Borals load. That's a, yeah, Man, this, Borl, that this Borl is still a tall problem. task. Yeah, this is going to be tough for Ryan to, to, to actually do, but he's getting close with this. So what do you have to do is to beat right over? now he just wants to know that the in the graveyard or on the bottom of the deck. How do you even get over Boral Sword? Do you have to beat over it with something really big? That even if it lowers its attack? Like yeah, you have to either do that um, or kill by non-targeting effect. Um, which do Titan, Titan any, does. Uh, Titan's not targeting? Titan doesn't target, so okay. if you can make Titan and discard a Thunder, he can do that. Colossus makes it hard to do yeah. that. Uh, Looks like the head judge is now involved on yeah, uh, so getting this ruling for uh, so Ryan So we're going to figure out where the Strudel is supposed to go. We're going to get a, a small time extension, and then this, this game one is going to continue. Yep. Um, the, the, the stream will be in, as a VOD on the Twitch stream uh, channel itself. So it won't be on YouTube, but it'll be there as a VOD, so you guys can go back and look at it and reference it whenever you like. So it looks like Ryan's hand is Mer Mer or is a dot scaper. I can't I can't quite see what else he has. I'm just trying to figure out what his turn is going to be. Yeah. Be nice to have that hand cam. I don't know how you would do it though. Um, hopefully in the near future I can figure something out. Try to get like hand knowledge onto the stream so everyone can get watch. Those police cameras. You That'd know, be absolutely stick insane. The lapel. You got it, Farfa. No worries. All right, Farfa. So Farfa's going to do some dishes. Right now, we're still waiting on the, on the ruling uh, with Distrudo as to whether or not it'll be in the graveyard or the bottom of the deck. Mamre's on the field. It's about to get a lot of tokens no matter what happens, but that hasn't happened yet. Kamal's field is still the same as it was, which right now Ryan's task is, is outing a Colossus, outing Curious, because I don't get a free card, and then finding a way around Borolo, um, all while keeping Snow out of the graveyard. And remember, there's a set Colossus there, too. Uh, and Colossus Ryan has, like, two cards two. in his hand, so it's, it's pretty hard to do. But yep. we do have Dotscaper. On our side, Dotscaper is here. And guys, since we have a timer on here, we might see a time extension happen here. Oh, so yeah, uh, if, if the ruling call. is taking a little bit here, so uh, the timer will keep going. But uh, just kind of uh, know that if it stops at zero, to keep playing, it's because they have an extension. There is with Clash of Fates a new Dragon Ball. That Dragon Ball has a different name. Perugia's Dragon Ball, because it has a different name. You may play it as well. So you may have two wish leaders on your team. One that's playing Dragon Balls, and the other one that's playing Perugia's Dragon Ball. Now, remember, one star ball, even if you play one copy or four copies, your opponents can't play one star ball also. So you can play one star ball, and your teammate can play two star ball, and you can play a Dragon Ball, and your opponent can play Perugia's Dragon Ball. Sorry about that, guys. We have multiple games going at the same time here at this event. Yeah, man, guy running right here, right? Yeah, I believe so. You ask them any questions they need. There's a lot of tricky things, especially now with Clash of Fates. There's the Mermaid token. So it looks like they got their rulings, and the Strudo is engraved, not at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, I thought so. 
Yeah, so the, the ruling on the field is that Distrito will, will go to the graveyard and stay there so for next turn. Ryan went ahead and made three tokens with Mare Mare and then made Brio. Uh, so he has one token left over and a Brio versus those same five monsters with like three cards in his hand. Um, <laughs> and Brio's once per turn. Uh, and they can't target the Boral Sword for a load. Uh, so, so we'll see what he does. I think Ryan's going to have to elect to... Man, I don't even know. Curious. He definitely has to bounce the two. One of Colossus for sure. The face of Colossus has to go. He only has four, he has four cards in his hand. I'm not sure how Ryan's going to play this. It's going to be really interesting. That's... Now, Ryan also gets to use the snow. He still has that token from the Mare Mare. And that's, that's Ryan's Curious, right? They got four yeah, yeah, ah, I forgot about that. Yeah, that technically Ryan's curious, so he doesn't actually have to out that because he'll get the graveyard effect. Yeah. I think. Yeah, that is Ryan's That's curious. That's really good. Yeah. Um, good observation. Sorry, I walked away and I forgot. No, yeah. So Ryan ended it's up real, real real for two. He just started a dotscaper. Um, yeah, he just started dotscaper with the brio. Dotscaper gets summoned. Pretty cool card. <laughs> Here we go. Now he gets to search for his fusion. So Ryan banishes fusion from Gabe. He's going to search Thunder Monster card. This is going to be a really good push. If Ryan can find a way around this Boral. Uh, which, like I said, is hard. Um, very hard because uh, you can't target it. He's got some spice in his extra deck that we don't know about? I don't think it's an extra. I, th I think he's going to have to add Roar and then get back uh, Fusion from the Banished Pile, I think is what's going to happen to happen. And then, and then he has to play it, make Titan. make Titan. And then he'll have to like have a, a Fusion, uh, have a Thunder Effect in his hand. Um, right now he doesn't have any zones, though, so he has to create some zones for himself. His board is still a token. Dot scaper. Okay, so he did what I said. He, he searched Roar, discarded Roar, got back Fusion. Okay. This is a really good game. Yeah, I, I, I figured this would be a good game. I didn't know it would be so long. I mean, we do have the extension to think about. So here we go, Ryan making that snow. They might, they might not have a game, too. It might just end up being... Yeah, it might be decided here. Again, guys, the uh, the players probably have a, a time extension. I don't know the time section, extension of happened because of that ruling and how long it took. I think we can assume but, three to... Uh, probably th anywhere from three to six minutes. Yeah. And that's really good, a, a good estimate. Anywhere between three to six minutes extra on top of that. Um, but they are technically still in game one, so yeah. <laughs> um, this is very interesting uh, Ryan's how very long down it's taking. Life points, so he's got yeah, a lot of Ryan, makeup. Ryan knows that. Ryan, Ryan's very self aware. So he know, the fact that he's still playing this game out means that he still has hope to win it because he knows if it goes to time, he'll lose in life. Yeah. Um, and I think he would just concede if he thought that he couldn't win. Yeah. And so try to, let's try see to get what a, he does. And try to get some time out of game two and maybe go to game three. Yeah. Uh, he seems confident enough. All right, so he's, Ryan's going to link for four using Dotscaper and, I think, two tokens. Saruja. All right, and two different types of tokens. Sorry, Bam Air and something else. Uh, yeah, yeah, so he made a Saruja, Dotscaper, Brio, he whatever. He dig? He made, yeah, he made Saruja. He's digging for cards. Um, he'll also be able to summon a card from his hand with that, so that'll help a lot. Um, yeah, he's digging here. So this does give Ryan the zones he needed um, to make that Titan that I talked about earlier. Yep. This, this could be a game push, yeah. Ryan's gonna go and do it. One K oh. players at this time, if you have not registered for the free one K, how does he? How does he? Uh, so he, he just punch over the, the Borlo with Titan. Uh, so Titan, when you just when you just card a Thunder, it can pop a card without targeting it. So you can pop, you can just pop the Borlo right here. Did uh, so Borlo's effect this turn? No, so that's the thing. So he gets to he gets to block one time. So yeah, he's doing that now. So Kamal's blocking. You have five minutes, you get players. One K will close registration in five minutes. Thank you can Hawk summon Hawk? I didn't know that. I mean, it probably can't summon itself. Oh. Okay, no, Ryan, no. Trying, Ryan trying to cheat nicely on stream. <laughs> trying to cheat. Okay. Realize it can't summon itself, he summons uh, Dragon Dart. Okay, Ryan did hold that Thunder Dragon. He anticipated the Boral, so we're going to use Thunder Dragon's effect. Chain Titan, pop the Colossus, which is face down. Add another one. Effect, pop the Boral. Switch another okay. Thunder Dragon. Yeah, because because Borlo can only chain block one Titan. Yeah. Ryan is uh, he's he's trying to get in there, man. Well, we still got to start using special summon too. So this is this is a nice push. Ryan's got to figure out a way to make game this turn, because Kamal has that snow in hand. Um, he's gonna make a, a strong, a really strong push next turn if he gets to live. So we we got to find a way to kill him. 
Specials. Okay, okay. Saryu's gonna special the, the last uh, Thunder Dragon from hand. So he's gonna tune Dark. Uh, oh. Double, double. That's game on board. And Kamal concedes. What an amazing play. That wow, was Wow, <laughs> what a comeback. I'm not trying to talk about my team, but I think Ryan Levine's the best player to ever such a player card, uh, a playing card. You is such, such a good game right now. That was that was nuts. That's an insane comeback from Ryan, especially after Kamal opened so good and was yeah. pretty much controlling the board. And, and it's like you said, Ryan just kept not conceding. He's like, no, I think Ryan has, knows he can you he can, can win this game. Mm -hmm. So he just he just kept going, kept going, and made a comeback and out of the board. You take all those punches and then you just, you have snowball up the last one that'll kill you, and then from there you just you push right back and you game them. Bring, bringing his coverage out to them, you know. Normally we depend kind of on the Konami streams, and we oh, don't yeah. have a whole lot of anything else. So being able to, to do this and show, uh, give Kamal and Ryan like the stage here is really cool. And everyone else has been on stream today and yesterday. Yeah, and it's like we we run the advantage of the, like, this is like you know we're a bunch of players ourselves, so we give we give a damn. Sorry, you know. What is Kamal's really cool. Kamal went first. He opened to danger. Ooh, discarded Thunder Dragon Fusion with it. Okay. That's a free plus one next turn. This turn, it might kind of suck, though, because most of these decks only play one Fusion. So the fact that he doesn't have access to search it um, from deck might hurt a little down the, down the line of his turn. It looks like his turn is going to be pretty good. But though. it's it's not really needed, though, right? Like, it's it, that's why you play it as one. I was yeah. like, yeah it's, yeah, it's an extender. But it, like I said, it'll hurt just a I'm sure bit. there are worse cards to his, right? Like, that is a pretty good discard, but we'll see how this turn goes. Ryan did get lucky and hit the Nessie, but it doesn't really matter because it just gets another stoop. Snake is here. Ryan missed Snake, hit Dark. Snake's on the field now. Draw one. We already basically have a Curious. That's how academic this match is. This deck's just so easy. It just pieces it together so so simply. Now, uh, one deck that I wanted to see today and I didn't see, and I see quite a few players uh, play in it at, at different tournaments, it's like a, a PK Dangers, like Phantom Might Dangers. And it's, yeah. And it's just interesting how... How it's same thing. It just starts mm -hmm. just making. I know. Yeah, that's, that's another just dark deck. It's it's another curious deck. Um, yeah. And, and you actually use the the swords that the PKs get as traps. Um, like you end up setting like two. It's, it's pretty neat. It's cool. It, you know, it does something similar. And then it just goes by. You know, by the way, two fog lane yeah. <laughs> in the back. And I'm exactly. like, well, okay. It's, it's pretty cool. We were talking about making a deck like that uh, with the thun like this card, this deck Ryan, Ryan and Kamal are playing, and just adding the PK cards in because you can make the PK link so easily. So yep. you just have Thunder Dragons with Fog Blades. But we thought that was a little too de degenerate for today. <laughs> a little too degenerate. <laughs> yeah, I, I've, I've sat across the table with yeah. it. I'm like, man, this is really uh, annoying. <laughs> this is annoying. And you know they're there. They should. They, they, they grab it. You know. Uh, <laughs> by the way, yeet, and just put it down. It's like, yeah, that's a Fog it's Blade. It's more annoying when you know what the back row is. Yeah. Okay, so Kamal got that early snow. He's gonna get the early plus off of it. It's so powerful to, to banish all your Thunder Dragons off snow. It's like literally a plus of ten. <laughs> it's, it's, so dumb. it's crazy. It's so dumb. <laughs> he milled a matrix, or so now he he normal something. Oh wow, Ryan is gonna crow that snow. That oh. sucks. Oof. Wow. <laughs> That's nuts. When the side <laughs> when the sideboard comes in clutch. Wow. That is the only card that Ryan sides for this matchup. We we thought that that. Um, Growing snow, turn one, means that they couldn't recycle the, the effects, turn two, um, and then they, yeah, it, it, we thought it was just the best thing. It was really good. Uh, one birdie boy. How, how many snows do you normally run in this deck? They only play the one snow. Just the one snow, so, so that's, that's, that's it. Gone. It's gone. It's literally gone. Yeah, you don't There's really no levy here. There's no way to get it back, so wow. Ryan will not have to play around snow for the rest of this match. Kamal searches that he gets here are the only searches he will get. This sucks for Kamal. Man, that, that's insane. I'm still stuck on the, on the crow. Like, ooh. Yeah, that was nice. <laughs> that hurts a lot. That's big oof. I wonder if he needed the snow to uh, be on the field. Oh, he just passed. Okay, Ryan, Ryan got a turn. We missed. But Ryan drew a card. Ryan gets a turn for free. Come on, only has a Colossus. Yeah, it essentially just ends on Curious on and fan. Colossus. That's just it. Just five. Okay, Mare Mare. Well, Ryan opening Mare Mare again. Nicely done, Ryan. There's Mothman. Okay, so there's no Mare Mare this duel, which kind of sucks. He's in Grave, so there's no way to get him back. Can't tribute summon him. Hmm. That would have been nice to have here. Would have been nicer not to draw. <laughs> does he have Gold Sark in his hand? Yeah, he does. Uh, there's a Colossus, so. Can't really use it. Yeah. Yeah, like can, you can summon a monster with Dark, but, but, but can, the he this, can he out this Colossus to use it? Well, he's going to try. He's going to send Dotscape or Glow up here. I hope it's not Dotscape. That card's so bad. <laughs> Please just send Glow up. It's gonna send the Dotscape or watch him. Send Snow. Send oh, wow. Zone Snow. Ryan's deck sucks. None of them have access to anything. This is gonna be a super grindy mirror, <laughs> and we don't really have time on the clock for that. Yeah, we have at most. We're gonna remember maybe, the maybe eight minutes. Yeah. yeah, at most eight minutes left on the, on this clock. 
Cars. That was such a nice crow. Vanguard players, this is the final call for tournament check-in or tournament registration. If you pre-registered online, that is not enough. Please come up and show up and make sure you are indeed here. Fill out that consent form. Chucklip summons a card from the deck. I think Ryan was really fishing for that draw, trying to get lucky and win the 50-50. Also, please note, you yeah, he did need to have a deck list filled out. <laughs> so come on to the Lansing, his gold star. That was a big hit also. So, do not need to turn into the deckless oh, app. That's instant. nuts. It just oh, did he? I didn't see that. Yeah, he landed at the gold star. Oh. This is interesting. At the beginning yeah, of it is. Round one. Ryan will not be able to make a classes this turn. He was not using any thunder effects. No way to qualify them. So someone's asking, isn't Lancia counterproductive when playing in danger uh, thunder? Uh, not at all. You, I mean, you shut off the gold star. You force snow out because, you know, they can chain to it. But uh, It's only for the turn, so it, it doesn't... It, you next turn. It's, it's pretty. I don't think Kamal knows Ryan's list card for card. So like, if Ryan's playing the Collapse Serpents or the Chaos Monsters, um, you just can't make any of them. It's, it basically just makes your opponent pass their turn. That that was very specifically good here versus Ryan's specific hand here. Uh, it's it's generally it's, Ryan's build doesn't play any of those monsters, so it's actually not very good versus Ryan. But here, like Lancey was super clutch. Uh, wow, this sucks. I don't I don't know if Ryan can win now. He has to make like a unicorn <laughs> or like. <laughs> I don't know what this even does. Uh, Cerberus? No. We don't play Cerberus. You don't play Cerberus, <laughs> that's right. Yeah, he scooped. Yeah, it's just too much. He scooped, yeah. Yeah. That wow, was very interesting. Nice. Yeah, Such a good crow. It really gave Ryan a chance to win the game. And we thought Ryan kind of might have closed that in with that yeah. BD crow. Mm -hmm. And then here comes Kamal Cruz, the Lance. Oh, hand trap. wow. The hand traps are dead, though, right? Not those, not those not, not, ones. Not those ones. Yeah, those are those are uh, one your takes snow out of the matchup, and the other one just start, stops cold Tark and cast monsters. Those are both pretty good. Actually, this is a pretty skillful mirror. So that's actually really cool. 